Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be telling you about the Bluehost packages and plans which are available in 2021, as well as the prices and costs of these plans, and the benefits of each. Now I'll drop a link in the description where you can compare these plans and receive special discounts. So now let's get into the video. As you can see here, I'm currently sitting on Bluehost.com, which is the official website for Bluehost. Now if you don't know what Bluehost is, I'm just going to go ahead and overview it real quick. Bluehost is essentially a web hosting platform. It's a place where you can host your own websites, you know, make your own websites, build your own websites, and then they store those websites on your, their server for you. So when you make a website, instead of having to you know keep your computer on 24 7 and try and do it that way which pretty much no one does that anymore Bluehost essentially as it says here you get a little plot of land a little specific piece of piece of their server where you get to store your website and keep it there and where they will basically allow people to access it 24 7 is the way you can think of it now, Bluehost has quite a few different plans and packages which you can choose between, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a general overview of all of those right now, and just kind of tell you what each plan and package will be used for, and which one is probably the best for you. Now, as you can see here on their website, we're looking at their menu right now from their homepage. Now, the two main categories we're going to be looking at right now are WordPress and Hosting because those are the two main hosting categories which Bluehost has. So the first category I'm going to take you through is WordPress. If we go to WordPress and we click on WordPress hosting, it's going to go ahead and pull up a hosting plan for your WordPress website. Now as you can see here when I scroll down, we've got basic plan, the plus plan, and the choice plus plan. Now before we get into the prices of all of those plans, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what WordPress hosting is for and the benefits of WordPress hosting. So WordPress hosting is essentially, let's say you you have a website and you want to host your website on a CMS. If you don't know what a CMS is, it's a content management system. Basically different programs you can use to build the visual aspect of your website and manage your content on the back end. Now WordPress hosting only allows you to use one CMS, that CMS being WordPress. Now you may be wondering what's the reasoning for this, why do they do this? Why do they only allow you to use WordPress when you're running WordPress hosting? Well, the answer for that is its productivity, its stability, and its performance. When the server is only running WordPress, they can optimize the server specifically for WordPress. A lot of times when you're just running on a normal shared hosting system, you're going to be optimized for multiple types of CMS, so they can't really optimize the server very specifically. It's kind of like a niche field. So if you are going to be managing your website through WordPress, which is a system I do recommend, you can go ahead and use WordPress hosting to make sure your website has the best performance possible. Now, just looking at the WordPress hosting plans, we can see they've got basic plus and choice plus. Basic being $2.95 per month, plus being $5.45 per month, and choice plus being $5.45 per month as well. Now, let's just go ahead and kind of look at the features of these websites. Just go through them and I'll go ahead and explain the differences between all of these plans. So in the basic plan, you only get one website. You can only host one website there. In the other two, there are unlimited websites. Now the difference between this is just how many websites you're going to be trying to host on your website hosting system. If you're just running one website, let's say you're a small business owner and you just want one website, then definitely go with the basic for this feature because nobody who's running a small business, let's be real, needs more than one website. You just need one web page so people kind of know what your business is and to get an online presence and that's pretty much it if you are running multiple websites you know maybe managing a few like your own personal blog a website for your youtube channel a website for two other businesses you run then you definitely want to stick with the plus or choice plus because it'll let you have unlimited websites now that does take me into my next few features. As you can see, they've all got custom themes, they've all got 24-7 customer support. However, the basic plan only has 50 gigabytes of storage, whereas the other two have unlimited storage. So if you don't know what that means, 50 gigabytes is essentially an amount of space where you can store your website, where you can store all your files. So most websites aren't going to take up 50 gigs, most smaller websites at least, they're not going to take up that much room. If you are hosting multiple websites, 
websites, maybe multiple bigger websites, think like a form or something, you are definitely going to want to go with the Plus or the Choice Plus. Think of it kind of this way. If you need more resources than just one website, you're definitely best off going with the bigger plans. If not, however, or if you're not sure how many resources you need, just stick to the smaller plan. It'll be easier, you know, and usually it's going to work for you. Now, all of these plans do include a free domain, free CDN, and free SSL certificate. Now, back to the top here for a second, we're going to take a look at managed WordPress. Now, I'm not going to spend as much time on this one because it is more expensive and it's probably less likely that you're going to need managed WordPress, but it is something to consider if you really want to take your website to the next level, because trust me, this is going to take your website to the next level. Now, managed WordPress is basically the same as shared WordPress, except for a few key differences. And these key differences make up for the price difference. You can think of it this way. It's WordPress except it's even more automated. Everything aims to be automated and customized for you and for your WordPress platform. Think a custom dashboard, updates, some plugins, a bunch of advanced features like that, which you can only get when you're getting a managed WordPress system. Now, taking a look at these plans real quick, we've got the first one, which is $14.95, second one, which is $29.95, and the third one, which is $49.95 per month. Now, as you can see, the prices go up there, but, they're definitely worth it if you're looking to build a bigger website, a better website, a very high traffic website. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features. As you can see, the top features are essentially the same. You get 20 gigs web storage, 40 gigs web storage, and 80 gigs web storage. You get a free SSL across the board, 50 visitors, 150,000, and 500,000 visitors comparably. However, what we really get into is where it says also includes. These are the areas, these are the extras that are going to make or break this plan. Now, as you can see, they all do include something called Jetpack across the board. Now, there are different Jetpack plans, but they all include at least some version of Jetpack. Now, if you're not familiar with Jetpack is, I will go ahead and explain that real quick. Jetpack basically has a bunch of features. It's a very fully featured WordPress. You could look at it as a kind of a WordPress expander. It's got themes, it's got portfolio stuff, it's got, it's got contact forms, it's got backups, automated stuff, malware removal and detection, all across the board, it's got all these good features for you. Now, the more expensive pair also includes business review tools, Bluehost SEO tools, and some compression, PayPal integration, and some other features. As you can see, these plans are very good, very automated. If you're looking for something to make your website, just take it to the next level and make it more automated, easier to use, you know, more sleek and higher performance. These plans could definitely be something for you, especially if you've got a bit of budget to work around with. Now, going through shared, dedicated, and VPS hosting, the main difference between these and the WordPress systems are that these will let you use different CMS on them. So if you're not wanting to just use WordPress, if you're wanting to experiment around a bit with different content management systems, these plans could be the ones for you. As you can see, with the shared website hosting, we start off at 295, 545, 545, and 1395. These all have really good features, obviously, it just scales up the more expensive you get. Next, you have dedicated hosting, without a doubt the most expensive plans. Dedicated hosting essentially means you get your own server. You get your own custom computer in their server area. So you get your own separate private physical machine to host all your files on. Now these plans, as you can see, are around $79.99 and $119 per month. They're very expensive, but you are getting the features, you are getting the performance and the ability to customize these servers that you will not get in any other plans. So if you have a big business, if you are planning to scale your business up, if you wanna make your business huge, and if you have a lot of things you wanna run on it, these are definitely the servers for you. And finally, of course, we have VPS hosting. Now, VPS is virtual private server. What that means is you have your own private server on their server. Now, it's a bit complicated, but it does work like this. So think of it as you have your own private physical server, except it's not actually physical. It's just a virtual manifestation of that. It's a virtual private machine where you can host your own system and customize your own hosting platform. So although it is still shared on a computer with other virtual private servers, it is much more customizable than the rest of the plans. Now the prices for this one, as you can see, are cheaper than the dedicated web servers, 
but they are more expensive than the other plans. So we start off at $18.99 a month, then $29.99 a month, and $59.99 a month. And as you can see, these are the statistics for the computers, two cores, 30 gigs, two cores 60 gigs and four cores 120 gigs now these plans are probably a good middle ground between shared web hosting and dedicated web hosting because shared web hosting it's very cheap very inexpensive very good quality for the price but if you want to step it up a bit but you're not willing to go the full way of buying your own server then vps hosting will be the hosting for you now, just recapping what we've learned today, those are all the plans which Bluehost.com offers. They're all very fully featured and very good plans, and I would recommend any of them just depending on the size and scalability and performance you need for your business. So just keep all those things in mind that I covered when you're picking out the plan for you. Well, thanks for listening. Now, if you do have any questions, just remember, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I'll include a link below so you can compare these plans and receive special discounts. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time, and have a great day.